right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything. I mean, Damian Maya makes him the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He lands a big knee to the body. Very tricky to throw that body. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Unable to connect there. Nice takedown, man. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Nice punch lands over the top. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Chor. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Second round, straight ahead. All 
Rod, let's check out some of the action. DC, what a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. The opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Watch the shot. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. What a punch. Ooh. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. How about that chin? Oh, stiff jab in the face, there's another. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, Dees? Nice, one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggles. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, right in the mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, closed guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Couple of uppercuts there for good measure. That knee might have landed there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Both fighters back to their feet now. Look at the angle of that nice body. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good punch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. 
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He's back in the clinch. How does he proceed from here? It looked like it did stop him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his first. Both finish his fight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Boy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Misses with the left hook. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just out of range with that strike. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You have gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that ball and get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful strike. Clean left punch followed by the right. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Big kick lands. Some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully. Really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fight. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful punch. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Short. Throws the left hand. Just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Got the single collar tie. Level change. The leg. Finish the kick now. Great job. Oh, big cop. 
combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC, this could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Seconds left. Well, he's got his back now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. You touch it because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. Well, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin. It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both Ready? fighters still look pretty fresh Ready? to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Oh, big punch land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is what they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 36 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the celebration is on with him and his team.